Okay, I want to know something about Saint John. What's your name? Abel Leblanc. Leblanc. Oh, you can say that in France, eh? That's good. Okay, what are you pissed off about the ferry, a cruise ship that they're going, they want to expand, and you don't agree with that? Well, I'm not really pissed off with it. Cruise ships has been very, very effective in the port of Saint John. But what I get upset about, first of all, is that this port authority went to the general public rather than come to the MLAs in St. John and say, look, we got a problem. We want to make an expansion into the port of St. John to look after the, the cruise ships that are going to be much bigger coming into the port. And there's nothing wrong with that, don't get me wrong. But here's the thing. Once you start playing with the infrastructure in the Port of St. John that's going to put them out further in the harbor to manufacture what they want to deliver these cruise ships, what it causes is that we are a working port. These ships can come in at any tide as long as they're berthed on the faceboard. Same as the, crew, the, the container ship. They can come in any hour and leave any hour. Okay. Once you change the current of the water, because you've moved out away from that berth, the water's adjusted, it's got a certain amount of flow, because when the St. John River at low tide is jumping into the Bay of Fundy, then there's a great deal of current of any sort. Mm -hmm. And as the tide rises, the tide comes in, it has the same problem. You got so much space. So the ships that will be arriving into St. John for a working port, a cargo ship, all go into slip berths, like one and two, three and four, trade 12. Then they're going to have to worry, the pilot is, of bringing that in. And they only be able to bring it in at a certain part of the tide. Really? That's my problem. That's number one. And the second issue that I made very clear, that I would not support this, if even if the Premier wanted to support it. The purpose of this thing is, number one becomes the fact that they wanted that group of people that was there that day to pick up these postcards and mail it to the Premier. Yeah, I see that. The problem being is that I'm an MLA along with five other of my colleagues. They're as well as MLAs. We meet in St. John once, twice a month on a, what they call a regional caucus. Anybody can come and get in to see us so yeah. to work out their issues. That was never done. Oh, the procedure and wasn't. The second, third thing that really bothers me about this is it's a political thing because Stephen Campbell is a big time Tory appointed to the lieutenant of this province, Bernard Lord, to get the position he's in. Therefore, the postcards are coming to Sean Graham, not to Mr. Harper. Why not Mr. Harper? So the political thing here is that they want to embarrass the premier of this province. They want to embarrass the premier of this province by saying, holy Jesus, look at all these cards they got. Well, what are you going to do about it? Well, Business New Brunswick is an operation that when things go through the MLAs to Business New Brunswick, they bring a report back to the Premier, and that's how it's done. Not by mailing postcards out to the Premier of this province, who is a very busy individual. How come uh, Ed Doherty supported this? Ed Doherty did not support it in the sense that you think he did. Ed Doherty is like the rest of us. He wants a caucus so that we can meet these people and get a true picture of where it's at. We're going to have a lot of questions and we want a lot of answers. What Ed Doherty did, he told them that the business of New Brunswick, their plan, will be entertained by them people. One more question. How can you claim such an issue that you believe this? You spoke for four minutes without swearing. Are you taking your Ritalin? Well, I'm more than Ritalin lately, Charlie. <laughs> you haven't swear once. Are you all right? I got a cap. I got a good team and I can't be embarrassing them. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Abel. Okay.